get the pre-approval on time and then you can start shopping of the house or the property that you would like to buy. What is going on guys? This is RJ Bautista, top realtor here in Central Florida with EXP Realty. Today, I'm gonna talk about the five common mistakes of a home buyer when they are planning to buy a property and they don't know how to start off buying a property, especially for the first time home buyer. So if you are the first time home buyer and you don't know or you don't have any idea where to start when buying a property, make sure you watch this video from this start until the end so that once you are ready, you know what to do. All right, but before I start this video, if you're new to my channel welcome please subscribe if you haven't done so and the most important thing smash that like button for me share this video if you found helpful and value in all your social media and i would like I don't know. And I would highly appreciate that one. So number one, that the common mistake of a home buyer is not having a pre-approval early. Okay, what do you mean by that, RJ? What is a pre-approval? Okay, first of all, when you are buying a property, you cannot just go to the property and they say, hey, I want to buy your property or I want to buy a house or property that I would like to live in. There's a process of doing that, okay? First of all, if you want to buy a property, you need to know how much money that you can afford, okay? And by that, you need to get a lender or a bank and then once you get a lender or once you get a bank and then you will get a pre-approval letter saying like this is the amount that you can afford and this is the amount that you can buy a property from this range of let's say 100,000 to 300,000 or 300,000 to 500,000 it depends on the pre-approval okay most people or most buyer do is just go straight online or go to the any open houses checking oh I want this house this is real nice but they don't know if they are qualified to buy that property so by doing that you need to prepare yourself okay you need to make sure that you are qualified first before going to that property or go shopping on any property that you like because sometimes people think like they can afford it but the bank or the lender say no 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 you cannot afford it unless you put some more money does that make sense so that's the most important one if you are planning to buy a property make sure that you get your pre-approval first okay way 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 earlier so that you can get the pre-approval on time and then you can start shopping of the house or the property that you would like to buy okay i hope that's helpful that's a number one so let's go to number two the, this number two is one of the important as well because some home buyers they don't consider hiring a realtor or a real estate agent <clears throat> like me Because sometimes when you are buying a property, this is not like when you're buying a food in a grocery store or when you're buying a normal purchase that you can do by yourself if you want to make a smooth transaction or this is not a kind of purchase that you can do it like in easy transaction or in one transaction that you want not to think about it once you get your credit card, your debit card, and you are good to go. It's not like that, okay? You are purchasing probably one of the biggest expense in your life because buying a property buying a real estate is a large amount of money there will be involved of contract there will be involved of inspection there will be involved of lawyer in some cases they will be involved of a bank or a lender okay and so on so make sure that you will hire a realtor or a real estate agent <coughs> like me if you would like to buy a property wherever you want to buy a property. Also, a bonus. Hold on. Here you go. <laughs> Don't just hire a realtor or real estate agent that you think this is good for you. First thing that you need to know is interview on real estate agent or realtor and ask them what are they specializing of, where they are located. Those two questions or main questions that you need to ask when you are talking to real estate agent or realtor. Why? Because number one, if they are specializing, let's say if you are a first time home buyer. For example, me, I'm a first time home buyer specialist. And also I'm specializing in new construction. So if you're a first time home buyer, obviously you will think, oh, this guy knows more about first time home buyer. And also he is specializing in new construction or new home build, something like that. All right. Or if you are an investor, let's say if you're looking for investment property for sure to rental <clears throat> Here you go. I am a realtor or real estate agent who is specializing in short-term rental as well, working with some investor out of state, okay? Or if you want to relocate here, you know, something like specifically for what you need, okay? And also 
location because remember when you're buying a property location 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 when you want to have a good property where you can stabilize stabilize <laughs> where you can live in the rest or most of the rest of your life okay because for example i'm from here in florida i'm on new construction guy which is you want a new construction but you want to live in georgia well do you think i could help you to find property in georgia if i'm from florida obviously not right so you need to make sure the location that you want to go you want to leave is based on the realtor who is currently not just doing the job there who is currently living in that area as well make sure the area he knows that area okay if you want to know my area my specializing in new construction and short-term rental as well in Kisani, Davenport, Claremont and as well as Orlando area okay remember that places if you want to come visit here let's talk about it <laughs> all right that's the number two let's go to my number three okay number three is let me just check on my phone because I don't memorize I write it all <laughs> Number three is buying a property or buying a home that you cannot afford. Okay, when you get your pre-approval and then you hire a top realtor or real estate agent, <coughs> and then suddenly number three, when you can only afford three hundred thousand, you are keep pushing yourself that you want to buy a three hundred fifty thousand house or four hundred thousand house if you cannot afford it. Okay, some people do that one, and I experienced that one in the past too. One of my client wants to buy a property which is more than he can afford okay i explained them that hey this is only the property that we can afford so we cannot be really go up on that one unless if you're gonna buy right now if you're watching this video it's a buyer market when they say in buyer's market it is on buyer's favor it means like whenever you buy a property what will happen is you can negotiate on buyer's favor let's say if the property is selling for three hundred fifty thousand, it's and your budget is only three hundred thousand. well you can negotiate you can put an offer and negotiate to 300,000 because no one's buying right now so it's in buyer's favor most likely the seller will say okay I will accept that 300,000 because no one's making some offer right now it's buyer's market if you want to know more about that one I will put some link here or up here click that link or that button small button I talk about there about buyer's market and seller's market you know how the real estate works okay so you can understand what I'm trying to say here so that's my number three let's go to my number four so my number four is let me check again not checking your credit report what do you mean like not checking your credit report okay credit score or credit report it's huge on borrowing money or getting some loan from the bank from the lender because if you have a good credit or let's say your credit score is about 700 and above most lender or most bank will say say oh you have a good credit you have 700 credit so it means like whatever you borrow you are paying them on time because remember if your credit is about 700 and below especially if you're 600 or 500 that's really low credit and then what will bank says hey you're not paying much for your credit so this is the score that we will give you unless you pay all your debt and then you will give you a good credit so once you get like a good credit from 700 or 800 it means like you're paying on time it means like most lender most bank will borrow you more money so this is for example let's say hey bank I want to borrow at least 300,000 for my house because I'm planning to buy a house so I could live in there and the bank say let me just check your credit report oh you have 700 800 oh that's good here you can have it because they know that your report is good so they will give you more money as you are responsible for your money there will be no problem but if you want to know more about that one we need to talk about to lender because I'm not a lender I am a realtor here in Central Florida okay but I know a couple of lender you could talk about lending or financing question or financing topic okay so that's my number four and let's go to my last one which is number five is waiving the inspection okay when you're buying a property a new build a new construction or resale or use house there's always have a home inspection okay that is crucial guys because sometimes when people think I really want this house but you know um I cannot wait to close uh, I really want to move in quick so I don't care about the inspection as long as I can get there quick forget about the inspection you can do that it's in sellers favor they will say oh right you don't want to inspect go for it but remember this inspection is really crucial because like you don't know what's inside the house especially if it's been used you know even though if it's brand new or new construction you need to inspect the house you have to pay for that one so that you know that the house has no problem or if they do have a problem the inspector who will inspect the house will give 
give you a report saying this problem this problem this problem and so that you will be aware what kind of problem or issue you may have in the future once you live in there all right some people they don't care about that one well guys listen inspection is very important don't just wave it don't just forget about it because inspection will help you to have a peaceful life in the future once you live in the property okay <laughs> remember that one so that's all I have today if I miss something if you want to add something feel free to comment something in the comment box below there comment there and ask me any question I will try my best to answer it and if you want to talk about more I will leave my email address down here and also my telephone number here you can email me or text me call me whatever you want to do do it and also I would just like to say if you stay in this video until this end comment down below home buyers so I can see how many people who watch this video until this end I really appreciate your time I know I'm talking too much so I'm stopping my video right now thank you for watching I'll see you on my next video peace realtor don't just but don't just hire a lot don't just don't just hire a realtor oh, well. here you go